Is KDE slow for you? Do you have problems when you connect external devices or cameras and just, just general sluggish performance in KDE? Well, stay tuned because I got a fix for you. Okay, so the other day I was in here, I was connected my digital camera up, I went ahead and launched Caden Live and I had some other windows open and I was doing just simple file transfers and I noticed just complete performance hit. I opened up Task Manager and what do I see? Blue File Extractor taking up almost two gigs of memory just churning away at my CPU and I was like, what is this? Did Microsoft take over Linux all of a sudden? Indexing? <laughs> Little did I know, KDE does have a file indexer uh, named Baloo, like the bear in that kid's movie. But you can disable it. And I'm about to show you how. So let's go ahead and jump over onto the desktop and take a look at what this file extractor does and also the service to disable status. And you'll see the results of that. So first things first here, if we look at our system activity, blue file is the file indexer and it's just going completely crazy. Like as you see me rendering this or uh recording it this file extractor just continues to just completely bloat up in my system it got to the point where i was connecting my camera uh my just regular handheld camera and it was just dying it was killing my system it got all the way up to almost two gigs of memory for some odd reason and it's just churning away trying to file index the camera i guess but it also made the file explorer or the file manager that I'm using completely unresponsive. Uh, Caden Live, when I was doing some rendering and other things in it, it was also just dogging. And I'm really just not a big fan of this blue file indexer that comes with KDE. And uh, as such, I went ahead, researched it a little bit, watched it for the last couple days and I determined I don't like it. I don't care about the benefits of the file index, so I am disabling it. So if you're having this problem, go ahead and continue watching and I will show you real fast what it is doing. So we're gonna first start by just checking the status. Now I've already cleared out my index and done it prior to doing this video, but basically you would run this status effect and then uh, from here, you would go ahead and stop the actual service. So we do blue CTL stop. And then it, if we go back to status, it should say, it, it'll go ahead and actually restart itself. So we actually need to cancel out of this and blue CTL disable. So once it's disabled, let's go ahead and do the status. Okay, it's currently disabled. Now we need to actually remove the files. So this right here, the rm-rf, uh, it's, it's the last rm command I actually did. That's why I went ahead and did, did it like that. But it is this command on the screen. I'll highlight it. That is what you need to do to clear completely the index out. Uh, once you've disabled and stopped it, my initial time of doing this, it literally just kept running. There was nothing I could do to stop the service. I went ahead and tried to kill processes. So I ended up just rebooting after hitting the disable command. Once I've done this, it went ahead and came, you know, it disappeared. I didn't have to worry about it coming back and uh, destroying my system performance because who cares about an index or if your system's crap, it felt like Windows. <laughs> so that's the whole purpose. I was like, okay, okay, I can't have my Linux act in like a windows box and i noticed this service was my main issue with the slowdowns and it just sucking so with that said uh i went ahead and disabled it and i'd recommend you do the same if you run into this issue i have a lot of disks i have a lot of files and i don't like them being indexed like this so there you have it. Now I will say after this clip, I went ahead and had to reboot my computer again because that darn blue file indexer just would not turn off even after running a stop and disable. Uh, so mental note, if you do have to do this, you will need to reboot your machine 
to really get that completely gone because even killing the processes it just seemed to constantly come back kind of weird but whatevs uh, just doing this it solves it so if you like this video consider visiting us over on patreon uh, just commenting or if you have a couple bucks to spare every month to help make these videos i'd greatly appreciate it and with that said i'll see you in the next one